Hi, uh, this is Tenacious Earl with another Tabletop Sports video here on Tabletop Baseball Plus. Um, it's a pleasure to be able to bring out a new game onto my tabletop here in this video. And I'm going to try to do a little differently. I, I was watching Tabletop Earl's uh, video. He's my partner. And he has a copy of this game as well. It's All-Star Lineup Baseball, as the title tells you. Um, he basically played out a pretty quick game with the... And I'll, I'll show you the game, Matt, and everything. And if you want to go and, and take a look at his, I'm going to try to link it in the comment... Or not the comments, in the description of this video. But he kind of tried to play it straight up like it's recommended you play with the game, Matt, and everything. And what I decided is that um, what might be better is to try to play a game uh, in a style similar to what I would play with the two other baseball games that I've played here on our channel before, and that's Stratomatic and History Maker Baseball. I, I think um, if you're playing head-to-head -head or you know, you're know you starting out or if you just want to play a, a simple um, sort of relaxing, stress-free, non non-replay kind of game you may want to use the mat and you may want to use the tokens and you may just want to follow it along like that um, in my case I think what might be good is to show people how it might go if you are playing it um, a little more straight up as far as let's just get out we'll get out a score sheet we're gonna put the the, the uh, lineups in piles and such and we're just gonna play it out that way. And so let's see how this game plays like that. Now, I gotta tell you, I haven't played it before. The other thing I wanted to do with this was, um, it seems after reading through the instructions like it's a pretty straightforward process. Now, I have to say, I'm probably not gonna get everything right. And, you know, you're more than welcome to leave comments uh, that explain my errors <laughs> in my ways. Uh, <laughs> but. I'm going to try my best to follow along in the advanced rules as they decide, or as they, uh, as Craig describes in his uh, rule book, and try to get this right. The the one thing that I can also say from looking at the rule book is it seems like he's Craig has tried to create a game that flows pretty quickly, and you don't need to make a ton of extra decisions. There's not a lot of extra rolls. He he doesn't really try to dial in really specifically on the percentages and things like that based on a player's speed or defense or anything like that. I think, you know, he tries to do a pretty good job when it comes to the the hitting and such, I'm sure, but, um, and, and the pitching, but, you know, it's, it's, and it's a different mechanic as well, which is kind of nice. A lot of people, you know, have their... Um, their likes and dislikes about the various game uh, systems that are out there for baseball. And so this is another one. So let's get right to it here. Don't want to take too much more time describing it. Let's try and play a game here. And it's going to be um, a couple teams that we haven't seen in Earl's video. So we'll get right to the game here in just a moment. Here is All-Star Lineup Baseball from Craig Wessel and Barstool Games. Okay, so uh, before I went ahead and decided to play the game as I was talking about, I wanted to just give you a quick visual of the game mat that comes with the game. Uh, it's a really nice quality, uh, lays nice and flat on here. Um, now if you've watched my games before, I have kind of a wooden uh, base to this and it can have little pieces that come up, um, just like, I don't know if it's I don't know what kind of board, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what the, you know, but it has little pieces that might come up. This this would be nice because it just gives you a nice, even surface. Uh, they, he gives you a bunch of game pieces. Again, if you're playing a casual game, now, again, if you watch Tabletop Earl's video from a while back, you can see what these uh, markers are for. They're for outs, uh, also for the innings. Over here, you can keep track of your innings. You can keep a... a you can keep markers going along the lineup. You put the lineups up here. I don't want to go into much more detail about this. Uh, also, these are for the runners. But um, And then he also gives you a little um, 
dry, clear piece of plastic you can put over this, which you can then write the, with the dry erase marker, you can write uh, the box score as you go along here. So just kind of like, again, so that way if you're not interested in keeping score, uh, you're not really that into the stats, all you want to do is just play the game out. Uh, you know, this is this is a really nice setup for that. A lot of guys have created this for other games, this kind of thing, and Craig has done this automatically for you. So, um, again, I'm not going to be using that for the game, but I just thought I would throw it out here and show you because it's part of the game uh, setup. Um, and here is the here is the piece of plastic I was telling you about. It's in a roll. You just take it off and stick it on there. These are all the dice. And they in this in the chips they all come in the baggies. You get these wild cards for the for the game that we'll go through, and then uh, he gives us four teams here in the box and and a dry erase marker as well. But um, so we're gonna we're gonna do um, what we'll do is we'll do the the 2017 Los Angeles Houston. World Series, a game out of that. So that's what we'll do. It's it, I'm just going to make up lineups as we go, but that's what we're going to do. So uh, we'll be right back with lineups here in just a moment. Okay, so uh, since this is me learning this game as we go, um, I'm just going to go ahead and try to play it as I see it. There's probably going to be some breaks in the action here as if I come upon a situation where I get a little stumped I'll just have to pause it and go back and kind of like take a look and, and sort things out so sometimes I might talk it through other times I might just try and take a little bit of a break so again I'm not these are probably not the lineups from the uh, so here's the wild cards I'm gonna put them right up there uh, these are not the li any lineups from the, uh, as far as I know, from the World Series games. We're going to play the 2017 Dodgers at the 2017 Astros. And um, I picked Verlander for Houston and Kershaw for the Dodgers just because I wanted to pick what I thought were the two best pitchers might uh, show sort of how this ends up working out. So, um yeah, so the lineup here for the Dodgers, we're just going to, I'm just going to write, read it through here. Seager, Corey Seager short, Chris Taylor left, Cody Bellinger first, Justin Turner third base, Yasiel Puig right field, Logan Forsyth at second, Chase Utley will be the DH since we are playing in Houston. Yasmani Grandal catching and Jock Peterson in center and against Verlander. And uh, so the way we do it is each, each at bat is... You roll a D8 for the pitcher and a D6 for the hitter. And whichever roll is larger is the roll that decides what's going to happen. So I'm going to start just by doing these two. And then we will go through each situation. Now, um, because this is advanced, we're going to be using... Um, so it's, it's a lefty versus righty. So Seeger does get a an advantage. So we will add one. And they're both good hitters. So green is good. Yellow is average. Blue is not good. And so you get to add or subtract from things based on that. So the, the matchup between the two, as far as their quality, is even. But because, or no. Actually, I'm, again, I'm getting this wrong. So if it's the pitcher gets an advantage, if they're the same, if, if it's a lefty versus lefty, righty versus righty, because this isn't, it's just straight up. So it's going to be straight up. We roll these two dice. Again, I'm kind of, this is, this is me learning. And I think sometimes this can be instructive. So <laughs> let's see how this works out. So the pitcher wins out on this battle. And so now what we would do is we would roll a d20 and look off of Verlander's card and it's 17 so that's a fly out and I think we then roll the um, actually I think we roll the 
D12 at that point. And um, yeah, so we'll roll the D12. And the way it works is that up to shortstop, it follows the numbering. But then it. Uh, then you go uh, seven and eight for left field, uh, nine and ten for center, and eleven and twelve for right, and it's nine. So that's going to be a fly out to uh, George Springer for the first out. So let's uh, get this back going again. This is Chris Taylor now. So now you've got yellow and green. So the um, and because they're the same, so it's gonna the pitcher's gonna get two advantage. So we have to subtract two from whatever is on the batter's d6, and so it would be matching sixes here, except for the fact you have to subtract two. So the pitcher still wins out. We roll the d20, and it's a two. So it's going to be a strikeout for Verlander on Taylor and that's the second out. Now what we can do is maybe start trying to roll a little bit of everything together here and see if we can speed things up a little bit. So now Bellinger lefty righty and they're both good so uh, this is just going to be the straight up and so five over two is going to be pitcher advantage and it's going to be another strikeout for Verlander and that will retire the side here in the first. So let's. Um, need to. Tr I want to try and do this in the way I would normally play a game when I'm playing offline, and we'll see how this works. We still have the wild cards up top. I just got to make sure I look off of the right sets of cards. So for the Astros, it's going to be. Uh, and this is incorrect. Somehow these got out of order. What do we got going on here? Okay, there we go. Springer's going to lead off in center, and then Altuve at second base. Uh, Reddick in right field. Correa shortstop. Gurriel first base. Uh, Carlos Beltran in left. McCann's going to be the DH. Bregman at third base, and Gaddis is going to catch. So uh, righty lefty. So no advantage to the pitcher here because they're also both green. And so the batter, um, well, I'm supposed to roll a red. We're, we're just going to use the black one here. It's still 8 and 2, so it's going to be the pitcher who wins out. It's a 5. It's a strikeout for Kershaw, and that's one out. So mistake there by me. Let me get rid of the black. D6. All right, so uh, lefty-righty again, no advantage gained. Okay, so here we've got where the batter is going to be 6 and so Altuve wins out on this one. It's a 10 and it is going to be a single. And uh, let's see. We determine we can determine where, I guess, but it doesn't really matter in this case. Um, Uh, let's see. Well, I guess you'd still go by the same. Uh, so you'd go by the same D12. That's 10, so it's going to be to center field if you really cared um, about where things were going. So it's going to be all 2 Now, the way that I've notated things here on my score sheet. I put a, a column here for speed and a column for fielding. And I can also see the speed here. So Altuve is a plus. And um, yeah, so you, you've got to do a little bit of extra digging here to try and decide whether it's worth a trying a steal. Um, so he suggests whichever is the better fielder. Um, with Reddick coming up, who's a lefty, I'm going to assume that the shortstop will be the one who is covering. And so Seeger's fielding is a plus. 
Grandal, the catcher, is a plus. So you're going to take, you would take two away from Altuve, who is a speed that adds one. So when you, um, so I'm, I'm just, I just, again, this game, you can do some, uh, a little bit of, uh, tweaking if you want to. And this is a tweak that I like, that I'm going to do because it just seems right to me. So, so the, the, the average is one to three is safe. And, um, four to six is out. So you would take, you would, um, subtract two, but then you'd also add one for Altuve. So it's a net subtracting one. So it's a one to two. If you want to have Altuve try to steal. Um, I think we're going to have him hold tight and we're just going to put Reddick up here. So, um, now Reddick and Kershaw are both green, but Reddick is a lefty. So, uh, Kersh so we will subtract one from Kershaw or from Reddick's, uh, die roll. And so that is an, actually an even matchup. So we have to go to the wild card for this one. Bad or ejected for arguing a call with the ump. I don't. I don't really like that. So we're gonna try something different because this is a this is a World Series game. We're not gonna get any uh, arguing. So left-handed batter minus one on next D6 roll. Okay. So we we will do that. So we're gonna. Um, so we had Reddick less one. Well, we're gonna roll everything again, and this time he's gonna be less two because of the defensive shift. And so now uh, the pitcher wins out here and it's an eight, it's a strikeout. So it's two strikeouts for Kershaw in the inning and now Carlos Correa. And it's going to be a an even matchup. And it's another wild card. Drag bunt, ba batter safe, all runners advance at base. We will go with that. So now runners at first and second and two outs, and it's going to be Gurriel. Uh, Kershaw will so we'll have to subtract one from Gurriel's roll, and it's going to be another. Um, it's going to be another tie, and it's a ground rule double, and that's going to score a run. So ground rule double for Gurriel. In comes Altuve. Correa will stop at third, and it's going to be Beltran facing Kershaw with runners at second and third, and we're going to subtract another one off of Beltran, and it's, it's going to be a liner, and then we got a seven, so a seven is left field, so a line out into left. Well, let me just double check here. Double check the rules, and the line out. Uh, okay, well, we don't roll the green one for that. We roll that, and so four is going to be, I assume that's second base. It is, so line out to the second baseman ends the inning, but they do get a run, and it's one nothing. So I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to come up with, I need to put together a little uh, box score here on my sheet. Okay, so now we've, we've started to incorporate all of the dice. Now I, I, I'm getting to see everything go on here, and now we're going to go back to um, the Dodgers. And it's going to be Turner leading off against Verlander. So the uh, pitcher will get a, a one advantage here, and uh, it's going to be a fly out to, um, well, let's see, well, the fly out, fly out, and it's going to be shallow, it's going to be to the shortstop, so, I'm just going to say, 
pop out six, I guess is what we'll call it. We'll call it a pop out. That's one out. So Puig, Verlander will get an advantage here on both counts. So you're just going to subtract two. And so, well, the hitter is going to get the advantage on this guy. And it's a 19 roll for Puig. So he's going to draw a walk. Off Verlander. So, Puig, not much of a stolen base threat. Maybe with two outs, we'll try. Uh, but again, we'll have to figure that out. So, Forsyth now again. Uh, so, another two advantage here. So, you subtract two. So, that's going to be the pitcher wins out. It's going to be a strikeout. So, let's see who's coming up here. It's going to be a left hander. So, the shortstop is Correa, good fielder. Uh, Gaddis, not so. It's that's a that's a wash. Um, Puig is even, so it's going to be a one to three. We're going to go ahead and try to steal. We'll, we will use the this D six here, this black one. One to three, he'll be safe on a stolen base, and he is. So Puig takes second with Utley at the plate. We'll see if Utley can. So um, this is going to be subtract one from Utley. Six, oh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a twelve on the d twenty leads to a triple, and that will score Puig. So you take the the d six, which is a six. You subtract one because he's uh, um, average compared to Verlander, but it's still going to be five versus two, and so you get a twelve, and you look on at least card, and it's a triple. So, and that's a triple into right field. End of score is Puig, and the Dodgers tie it up. Okay. So now Grandal with Utley at third. So Grandal, so this is going to be you subtract two off the red. And look at that. It's going to be, that's going to take it down to a two versus one. So it's still going to be, this is going to be way out and gone. Home run Yasmani Grandal. Takes him deep. In the score comes Utley, and it's now three to one. Dodgers on top. That brings up Jock Peterson with the base is clear. And uh, that is going to be a fly out into center field to end the inning, but three runs across. So turns the lineup over as well. I'm gonna just clean up my sheet here just a touch. Not probably not gonna do any uh, pinch hitting or anything like that. So it's gonna be Brian McCann leading off against Kershaw. I'm gonna try not to describe quite so much. I'm just gonna try and go. So. Um, this is going to be off the pitcher because uh, you subtract two from McCann. And so that's going to be a fly out. Um, we're going to call it a pop out to the first baseman for out number one. Bregman. Uh, well, it's going to be a tie. So we go to wild card. High pitch count. Pitchers max innings four. We're not going to worry about that. No. All right. I'm going to start playing this. I want to re-roll when I do equals. I don't, the wild cards, I'm not not really liking so much. Uh, we, we did do a couple there, which you might say, is that a good thing? I don't know. Uh, we gave Houston a run there, I guess. So uh, we're going to do Bregman again. Uh, it's going to be even up, and this is going to be the hitter gets the advantage, and it's going to be a walk. For Bregman, so now Gaddis Bregman, pretty much uh, even heel, and uh, you would subtract two, so it'd only be a one would let him be able to steal. So they're just going to go with it, and there's going to be pitcher. That's going to be a strikeout. That's the third strikeout for Kershaw. Turns the lineup over back to the top. Bregman. 
still at first with two outs, Springer. And that's going to be the pitcher. Uh, it's going to be a ground ball to... Let's see. Uh, this is my first ground ball. The brown one. So that's going to be four. So that will be to... I guess any time that it's a, uh, an infield, it's going to be the brown one. So that's going to be a four. Three ends the inning, so no runs there for the Strohs. So let's move right on to the third. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in assuming, hoping that we don't have any hit around innings. So here's Seeger. Um, so this is going to be uh, straight up and the hitter wins out. That's a three. It's going to be a single for Seeger. Not very speedy, so he's going to, just going to hold on there. Chris Taylor at the plate. Um, it's going to be righty righty, so that subtracts one. And Taylor's not, so it's going to be it's going to be Verlander's. Uh, that's a strikeout. From one to nine. So that's one away. Bellinger, pitcher wins out there. That's another strikeout. So two away is going to be Turner. That's a five. So, well, three and one. Let's see, Turner. So this is going to be batter. Uh, it's going to be a walk. So that moves Seager into scoring position. And it brings up Puig. So righty righty and not as good. So it's a tie. We're going to re-roll. I'm done with the wild cards. So again, I'm just kind of learning as I go here. And that's going to be pitcher. That's a strikeout to end the inning. So Verlander strikes out the side. So the Dodgers still ahead three to three to one. Altuve up first, bottom of the third. And it's going to be a strikeout for Kershaw, Reddick, and it's going to be, it's lefty-lefty, so that drops Reddick, and that's going to be another strikeout. So two outs, Correa, two and two, and this is going to be straight up, so it's, we're going to do a re-roll. One thing you could do, I think, is maybe home team. Uh, the home team wins out on ties. So that might be a way to have like a little bit of a home field advantage um, in these games. But uh, So it's six versus five. And again, there's no advantage to either team. So we go with 18. That's a walk, two out walk. That's probably two more walks than Kershaw throws on a normal day. So that can you can use that advice however you want. Uh, Korea not very good at stealing. He's going to let Guriel try and hit. And lefty righty not a problem. So you subtract one. So that's still five versus four. It's going to be 11. That one is going to be a double. And now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Okay so Korea is slow. So um, I'm going to go ahead and look through here and try to remember how we do with the... So uh, we need to look at the, where the fielding was. Um, so we need to roll the, the outfield die to decide where this is going, where this went, and it's in left field. So your left fielder for the... Dodgers is uh, Taylor, who is even. You've got Korea, who's minus one. So on a double, so 
So in this case, it doesn't look like you do wear, let's see, so extra bases. Um, so it's going to be some minus one. So the fielder taking the throw. So okay, so in this case we're gonna be doing we're gonna do a straight we're gonna try and send Korea here. So uh he's you subtract one for his speed. Um so instead of being one to three, which is normal, it would be one to two, and then you go with the left fielder who is even, and you go with the catcher who is plus. So it's going to be one. It's going to be a one is safe. So we're not going to send him. We're going to have to leave him at third, and so it's going to be up to Beltran with two outs to try and get these two runs home. Oh boy, and it looks like he will. Maybe, unless it's a walk. Let's see, because it's going to be five versus two. And it's going to be a single. Single, which is going to score Correa. But no, this is six. Guriel. They're going to have to hold him at third as well. But that, so that makes it first and third. Beltran with an RBI. So. Five versus two, no, he did have to subtract one for Beltran, uh, but he is a uh, switch hitter there, so no effects for that. And so first and third with two outs, it's going to be McCann, lefty, lefty now. So it's going to have to be a pretty big spread here, and it's going to be one out by Verlander. That's going to be a, line, a fly out to uh, right, uh, well, we do right field. Uh, we do the D12. Uh, we'll do a pop out to the third baseman to end the inning. So one run across, and I'm sure that someone, if I did something wrong in there, I will hear about it in the comments, but let's take a break here for the third. I'll be right back. It's 3-2 LA. Okay, so I just, as I was off taking a short break, I decided the rest of this game, I'm, that's what I am going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to use the the even up as a home field advantage kind of thing. So if if the pitcher and the batter are even after the adjustments, whoever the home team is, they will win out on it. So let's see how that works out. Dodgers up 3-2. Here's Logan Forsythe against Verlander. And there's a sound off my computer. Um, so Verlander, righty righty, and it's going to drop this down to three. So it's going to be a strike, another strikeout for Verlander here in the fourth. That's one out because of the six on the D20. Okay, so Utley, that will be a single. Brings up Grandal, who's already gone yard. About like two for two with a triple and a single. But Verlander's going to get another strikeout here. And it'll bring up Jock Peterson. And the home team is the Astros, so they will win us out of this. And he's going to strike out more. Here, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strikeouts for Verlander. It seems like that D20 is rolling low here in this one. So, put another zero up here. It's going to be Bregman in the fourth for the Strohs. So, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a grounder to, um, 
Can be a, a Bregman uh, swinging bunt. Two three is the scoring on that one out. Evan Gaddis, and that is another. Uh, that's going to be a U three. Back to Springer at the top of the lineup. He is over two, and it's going to be a strikeout. Tires aside in order. So going to the fifth. Still 3 2 Dodgers. Seeger at the plate. And the pitcher will win out. That's going to be a fly out. Um, to, it's going to be a pop up to the pitcher for out number one. And the hitter is going to plop a single in there. It's going to bring up Bellinger. And it's going to be a fly out. Call it pop out short, two away. And brings up Turner. And it's going to be another strikeout there for Justin Verlander. Altuve. Uh, it'll be a grounder to first base. We'll say 3-1. Kershaw will cover this time. One out. It's going to be the pitcher winning out here again. It's going to be a fly ball. They're going to call it a pop out to the catcher. Two away. Carlos Correa. And it's going to be a fly out. It's going to be another pop out to the pitcher. Not able to get it out of the infield, so one, two, three. He's retired seven in a row. Going to the sixth. Dodgers still up by one. So Puig. And it's going to be another strikeout for uh, Verlander. He is racking them up here, huh? Forsyth. This is a tie. It's going to go to the pitcher. It's going to be a fly ball. Pop out to short. That's two outs. And Chase Utley. Well, that's he will drop because of the. It's going to be Verlander again. That's a fly ball uh, to center field. I'm not going to put P. I'm just going to put eight. Another one, two, three inning. So we're starting to get to the point where we're going to get to their. Uh, where they might be a little bit gassed. We may have to go to the bullpen. So Guriel. Can he tie it up here? Not on this one. It's going to be another strikeout. Beltran. Uh, that's going to be another strikeout. Kershaw rocking and rolling now. And this is going to be a flyout. To left fielder. Okay, through six. So now we have to check, double check my the, the pitcher um, fatigue. So the number is there. Um, so we roll a D six. We will roll this black one. If it's one to three, they he stays with the D. Eight, but it's going to be a D six. It's four through six. It's a six, so we're gonna we have to change him over to a D six from the D eight, and we'll just do an inning like this. So here is Grandal against Verlander. Pitcher's still going to win out on this one. That is a fly ball, well pop up caught by. Altuve, here's Peterson. So the red is for the hitter. And so Peterson, lefty versus righty, no change there. One down from hitting. So it's going to be the, the uh, hitter, and that's going to be a double because of the nine. So that's a double. The Astros are going to get...
Let's see. I'll get, get Mike Fires warming up. And so it's going to be back to the top of the order with Seeger. Peterson second. And uh, this is going to be more trouble. That's going to be a single. Peterson not very speedy, so he's going to stay at third, and that's going to be it for Verlander. We're going to go ahead and um, bring in Mike Fires. So I'm not going to mark that down. I will mark. Well, let's. I can do this here. So first and third. Houston looking for a double play, maybe. Want that eight to fourteen ground out jobber there. So five. Oh, and we need to change this out. So let's re let's roll the D eight now. So you can see it's a five, and it's going to be righty righty, and then um, so that's going to actually you got it's going to even it out, and it's a four, so it's just going to be so it fires is one below Taylor. But Taylor, but but because the pitcher does get the advantage of righty versus righty, so it's even. But it's still going to be uh, Taylor, and it's going to be a single, and it's going to be four two as Peterson comes in to score. Seager will stop at second, first and second, one out for Bellinger. Bellinger is going to get two advantage here. And it's going to work for him. It's going to be a single. And they're going to hold him there, which is going to bring up Turner. So again, Turner gets... So you can see where the blue pitching really works against them here. Now, this is going to help him out because... Oh wait, no, it's not going to help him. It's going to be five versus two, so it's still it's going to be a sack fly. So that is going to get an out. It's going to be to um, yeah left field. We're going to say sack seven. In comes Seager, and that's a um, an RBI. And so now it's five to two. And now they see their way out with Puig. Up. Oh. And wow, the. Uh, this is just not gone fire's way. This is a uh, this is going to be a walk to load the bases, and they're going to go back to their bullpen again. So, and this time they're going to get they're going to bring in Peacock to try and uh, stem this off. They were they can't. They're trying to get by with fires one inning, and so now it's going to be Peacock. So uh, it's going to be Forsyth, righty versus righty against Peacock. And this time it's going to be Peacock who wins out. It's going to be a fly ball caught, well, pop up caught by the shortstop, ends the inning, but. Two more runs across. It's five to two, and uh, now we need to roll the six. Kershaw will also, so we have to swap them out. Him out. We're gonna get the Dodgers warming up. Uh, they'll get you Darvish warming up out of their bullpen. So, so Bregman will lead off here in the seventh. And the hitter gets, uh, he's going to draw a walk. Brings up Gaddis. And this time, uh, Kershaw will win out here. And it's going to be a fly ball caught by the center fielder for one out. Springer with Bregman first, and uh, it is going to be a strikeout. Three strikeouts for Springer in this one, and so now it's two away. 
and it's going to be Jose Altuve. Oh boy, and it's going to be a grounder to shortstop, and that ends the inning. He throws to first. All right, so we'll sit down Darvish. They're going to bring up Pedro Baez. They're going to try to get him to uh, be a stopgap. They're going to, uh, the Astros are going to stick with Peacock here against Utley. Yeah, you, you drop one for Utley. Oh, well, we hold on. We need to roll a D8. And it's still going to be in favor. It's going to be a strikeout for Peacock, and that's one out. Grandal. Uh, righty, righty. And also, so that's going to be a uh, ground out. It's going to be 4 3. And now, Jock Peterson. Yeah, it's going to be a double for Jock Peterson, another one, as we get a nine. It's six versus two. So, maybe a chance to tack on a little more here for Corey Seager. Good matchup here, and so it's going to be the home team winning out because it's a an equal fight. And it's they're both green, and it's lefty versus righty. And so it's going to be another strikeout to end the inning. So there is the home field advantage helping out the Astros there, preventing further damage. So the double with two outs goes to waste. And Dodgers are going to stick with Kershaw one more inning here. He's got to stick with that D6. Uh, Reddick, it's lefty-lefty, so it's going to be tied, but it's going to be to the advantage, and that's going to be a single. It's going to be the advantage of the home team, and that will be it for Kershaw. So we're going to bring in Baez here. Partly because you wanted lefty versus lefty, but it was going to be a tie if you had the lefty-lefty matchup. And by doing that, it went to the home team, which was the Astros. So... Reddit gets on first. It's going to be Correa against Baez. So this is going to be righty versus righty. Uh, so it's going to be an even matchup because Correa has a, an advantage at the plate. But it's going to be the... Well, we need to roll the D8. And it's going to be the pitcher winning out here. You get to... Uh, it's going to be a grounder to... Um, second baseman and so it's going to be 4-6 on the force and so now you've got to say on the double play here I'm going to look it up so um, double plays defensors, defensive fielders ratings so it would be 4-6-3 so it's four is Foresight. He's a plus. Six is Seeger is a plus. First baseman Bellinger's even. And then you take the speed rating for Correa, who is a minus. And so rather than being a one to three, it's going to be a, just a, a, a one and he's safe. And it's a four, so he will be out. This is going to be a DP463. Clears the bases. And that's going to bring up Guriel. And it's going to be a strikeout to end the inning. So, no advantage there for the hitter. So, it's going to be 5-2 going to the ninth. Houston will go back to the pen. They're going to call on Ken Giles. All right, so Giles against Taylor. And that's going to be a, um, what, a strikeout? Let's see, seven, no, 17 is going to be a liner to, uh, we will say a liner to short. 
Now Bellinger. Uh, that's going to be a another liner to short. And now Justin Turner. And uh, this is. Um, and I wonder if I'm trying to think if I mess things up here. That's going to be a tie that goes to the home team, but I'm trying to think back whether I messed up and I was looking at the wrong thing. But if I did, I apologize. Um, I may have switched these things up. So um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this where it's going to be righty righty, four versus three. So it's make it three three, and it's going to be Houston that gets the advantage here at as a strikeout to. Supposedly in the inning, I'm going to check back on my video and I'm going to make amends if there's something wrong here. So be right back. Okay, so I checked and everything was appropriate. So we're going to the bottom of the ninth. The last chance for Houston. They need three runs to extend this game. And the Dodgers have brought in Kenley Jansen, the right-handed closer. And so Carlos Beltran, who is average hitter, but he's going to be um, switch hitter, batting from the left, so it, it's just a, one drop. And so he's going to get the advantage because we're going to have a tie, and it's going to go to the home team. And that is a single to lead off. And now what we can do is we can either stick with McCann, or they're going to pinch hit for McCann with Marwin Gonzalez. Let's do that. He's going to be a, it's going to be a uh, one advantage for the hitter here because it's a righty versus righty. Actually, no, it's going to be one advantage for the pitcher. So we're going to drop it one here, and it's going to be to Jansen. That's a strikeout. Three versus one. That's one out. So Bregman up. Another drop in one. And it's going to be the pitcher one and out again. That's another strikeout. Uh, Beltran is going to take uh, second on defensive indifference. Going to bring up Evan Gaddis, and they're going to pinch hit with Tyler White. So again, just a one drop in the red die. And so this is going to go for them. That is going to be a home run. That one is gone. Five, you subtract. One makes it four. Four over three is going to be to the hitter. Fourteen, pinch hit home run for Tyler White. Two run bomb. And that brings the Astros to within one. We go to the top of the lineup. It's going to be George Springer. Again, you subtract one because of the, because of the handedness. And this is going to go... That's going to be a strikeout to end the game. Two runs, not enough for the Astros. It is a 5-4 to four final here from Minute Maid Park. As the Astros fall at home, the win goes to Kershaw to loss to Verlander and a save to Jansen. And I'll be right back with a few thoughts. All right, folks, so uh, I want to thank uh, Craig Wessel for uh, providing me a copy of this game and the uh, teams here, uh, as well as there's the 2018 teams. Uh, if I have a chance, I may play another video with this game. Excuse me, as you can see, um, you know, once you kind of get the, the mechanism down, it gets to be pretty quick. Um, again, you kind of have to pay attention and make sure you don't forget to switch out your D6 with for your D8 for the pitcher if they get um, fatigued. Um, you know, those kinds of things. Uh, you, you know, in the advanced game, you're kind of always doing the calculations, trying to make sure. And, and so you also have to make sure you don't um, mess up your the pitcher D8 versus the batter D6. And then when you switch to a D6 for the pitcher that you're... You keep the colors uh, straight so you're not messing those up. 
Um, but, you know, I think what Craig has tried to do here is design a game where you don't really need to do a lot of extra homework. You know, you're, you're basically, um, you know, it's, it's even, I'd like, say one step, um, sim I don't want to make it sound like, you know, someone could think simple means, uh, like, uh, it, it can be a, a detractor. I, I think in this case, it, it helps it in that someone who is new to this, to this kind of thing, I think they could pick it up really quickly. Um, you know, it keeps the, um, you know, the results are pretty straightforward. You, you know, you, you get one roll and you kind of get everything there right in front of you. You don't have to look at a, a, another card to figure out where, um, you know, you don't have to like decipher the result from a lot of, uh, um, abbreviations or anything, all you're doing is you're just looking and you say, oh, strikeout, that's quick, that's a strikeout. If it's a flyout, okay, I got to look at the 12-sided uh, green die and just it, once you memorize the, which positions are for which numbers, it's like quick. And the only, I guess the only maybe downside of that is that you've got to remember that, um, you know, 7 and 8 equals left field, 9 and 10 equals center, and 11 and 12 equals right not that big of a deal. Uh, and if you really want to, they give you this blue die and I think you could kind of, you might even be able just to substitute this for the fly balls if you prefer that over. But you know, I, I think he does a good job of trying to make sure that there's pop outs included in the fly outs without having it be too, um, you know, one sided either way. Um, although I will say, I, I think in this mechanism, you may get a few too many infield pop-ups um now another thing i can say is um the wild cards i wasn't wasn't particularly a big fan of that because i was trying to play um sort of a one-off game that was sort of world series related and um you know the use let the user decide whether they like those or not some people might really like them and, and i'll tell you what if i wasn't making a video and i was doing a season Maybe, maybe I would find those more useful because, it, it, you know, there's a pitcher that gets injured in the game. That can be something that changes things. But I also like that. Uh, that was just a quick, I mean, I don't know if anybody's ever done that before. They probably have. But to me, that's like one, that was one thing as I started playing this game. I'm like, man, there's no, there's no, there's no ballpark effects, but there's no real home field advantage. And uh, that's one way you could do it is just say the ties uh, go to the home team and then the other thing you could say is let's say that it's tied you could put in another roll and say okay on a one to three on a d6 roll it will be the home team advantage and then a four to six it will be a re-roll or something to that effect to try and kind of dilute the effects of that if you if you play these this game enough and you decide that that what i did provides too much home field advantage then maybe you do that or you find another thing that you need to simulate um you know you could you could definitely um you know homebrew other things maybe the the top home run number for each player you decide that um you know you look at you, you may you know maybe you could designate the stadiums that you think are pitchers versus hitters parks and you say, okay, the top number, if it's that, then I'm gonna do another roll. And if it's a hitter's park, you know, a one through five is a home run. Whereas if, you know, let's say it's a D20 roll, one to five, homer, six to 20 is an out. If it's a hitter's park, maybe it's one to 15 and then 16 to 20. You know, there, there's lots of things you could do like that to try and kind of like introduce a little more uh, intricate stuff i guess the downside with the wild cards as well or not using the wild cards is that you lose things like um, let's see errors uh you know the wild pitches uh, i assume there's a past ball in here so there's a balk there's a few things in there again it, it seems kind of seems like it would um I, I guess that would be thinking it through here maybe one uh yeah, you know, again, I think if you keep keep everything in the vantage point of, you know, you're, you want a simple game that's going to get you a result, and 
you know, if, if you're looking for a lot of detail, like the pitchers that are going to throw a lot of past balls, but I mean, he, he, I think Craig, there's lots of room there. You could probably find a way to work that onto a pitcher's card if you really tried. So, um, you know, and it could be, it could be the tie roll goes to a pitcher's card and that helps you sort of flush out. But again, I, I'm not trying to like criticize this at all. I think it's a fun game to sit down. You just put down the lineups, you just play. And part of the point of this video, I wanted to try and play it out as I would another game that I've played here, whether it's Strat, whether it's History Maker, you know, I don't need, don't necessarily need the game, Matt. Um, you know, I think even in his book here or in the notes, he says about, you know, whether, whether someone who was doing a project, whether it would be the thing for them, that might be one way to do it. You know, you, this, we just played it sort of like I would a project game. And, you know, I think if you were to play some games, if I were to play 10 games of this and start to really get down the mechanics, I think it would start, uh, you know, I would start trying to find ways to, um, you know, acclimate this game or, you know, um, acclimatize it for the things that I like. So, and, and you're welcome to do that too. Craig has said that in his booklet as well as the notes. So, um, again, thanks, Craig. Uh, really neat game um, and in this case the Dodgers beat the Astros 5-4 to four. Uh, Kershaw beats Verlander and uh, the fans down in uh, South Texas go home unhappy so <laughs> um, yeah so I'll probably try to get this game out another time and try and try the other two teams although I guess it's the Dodgers are the 2018 team so we'll see a lot of the same players but that's okay and it would be the Red Sox would be the uh, the other team that we'd see. So I, I probably will try to get some golf out in the, in the meantime. But until then, um, again, uh, Barstool Games, uh, if you do a search on Google, and I'll put the, the link in the comments or in the uh, description if you want to take a look at his website. Um, if you're thinking about purchasing it and want to try to get this game on your tabletop, uh, I'm sure he would love to help you out with that. So, uh, till next time, this is, uh, this is Tenacious Earl. I'm gonna set up Tabletop Earl. Um, I'm not, but uh, uh, my friend Tabletop Earl is also your friend. So, uh, <laughs> um, we uh, enjoy having all of you as subscribers and viewers of our stuff here. So, feel free to comment on what you think of this game. And again, check out the description. And uh, if you like this, go. Um, go give Craig your business. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot and see you soon here on the Tabletop Baseball Plus channel. Have a great night and keep on rolling. Everybody.